What up, fellas? Man, it's a good morning, bro. Well, sort of. Let me start with today's quote. Just keep pushing and stay focused. The hard work will pay off. Show the wheel. Try to watch my mouth. You all right? Who am I fooling? I ain't fooling nobody. I got a bad mouth. Just deal with it. Hey, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I'm at least going to try to watch my mouth in the first minute of a video. Then after that, I'm cuss. Because I heard you can get demonetized if it's not, you know what I'm saying, in the first. If you're cussing in the first minute. And since my YouTube, I'm trying to take off with it. Yeah. But that's my quote this morning. Just keep pushing and stay focused. The hard work will pay off. Ain't that the truth? So, let me show y'all how I'm doing. First of all, I'm happy my teacher account is back active. Yesterday, I said, screw it. I went and got some beer. And uh, my glasses. I didn't get another pair of glasses. Because where I'll be 50 this year. I've had these pair of glasses for 10 years. I actually bought them on my 40th birthday. That's when I noticed in my eyesight. When I'm like, damn, do I need glasses? But anyway, teaching, man. I did good this morning. My teacher account is back active. So yesterday, I just took the day off and just focused on some shorts. I think I probably got out like 12 shorts yesterday. So I went and got some beer. I don't need to be super sober to edit some shorts. I need some beer, tequila. I said, fuck it, I'm just going to drink. So today's the 24th. My account, I was back on it this morning. Knocked out four classes. By the way, if you're interested in being a teacher, dude, I only charge $20. Send you the link. Get you started on teaching. But that $20 pays for time with me. You spend an hour on the phone with me. I go over the whole entire platform. You a class 25 minutes. You watch me do a class. I teach you all the mistakes I made so you don't make the same mistakes. So at least an hour, but I noticed my calls in the past, they go over an hour because we get to talking, traveling and, you know, shooting the shit. But it's a lot you can learn from. But I'm excited. Like everything's back to normal now with my teaching. So I'm super stoked about. But my trading this morning, bro. First of all, I went in D-R-M-A. Bad trade, bad trade. I seen it jumping. I don't know why I jumped in. It was too late. I think it was up over 200%. I jumped in and that shit started bottoming, bottoming out. So I jumped in at $4.45. Got up my ass up out of there at $3.51. I had to cut it. I was at a loss of over 20%. But T-I-R-X made my payday. I jumped in at that one at $2.75. Jumped out at $3.54. So I squeeze out a profit on that one. But I'm still doing bad on my account. I'm actually now, my profits that I was up, gone. And I'm actually in the hole with my capital. Part of investing, I'll get out. Let me see, right now I'm down for the day 9.87%. In the last week, I'm down 32%. Oogly. For the month, I'm down 19%. For three months, which I haven't been back trading for three months, but according to the chart, I'm down 19%. So we're going to see what happens with that one. Right now, I'm in AAA. I'm in AAA. N A A S. I'm in T K N O. Oh, let me see where N A A S is at. 
I'm hoping I can dig myself out. So I'm down 10% on that one. Nothing I can do about it because they'll flag me for day trading. TKNO. Let me see. Where am I at on that one? Yeah, I'm down 2%. Oh, this one's starting to jump. So maybe when I get back from the gym, I'll be all right. ELDN. I said I was going to do four trades. This morning, I'm in a little bit more. All right, that one, I'm down 3%. Uh, GRI. Let me see. And that one I'm down 10%. And that one is dropping like a rock. Ain't nothing I can do about it. But it ain't so bad. I'm in it at $1.78. It's at $1.60. That one looks like it's just been. So we'll see what happens when I get back. Alright. And my last one. C-Y-H. Yeah. Oh, that one I'm up a little bit. 0 0.08. And it looks like that one is starting to take off. But all in all, man, I was looking at my overall chart, and that shit just went this morning when I bought into that stock. Fucking ugly. Ugly. But all these trades right here, I got to overnight them. Nothing I can do about it. Just take my ass to the gym. Ah, uh, Forex. So far on Forex, I'm at a profit of $1,105. Demo account. Clearly, I am doing way better in Forex than I am with stock trading. Now, I said I was going to set up a broker account. I need to activate the broker account, attach it to my... Mega Trader. I'm using Mega Trader 5. I've said I was going to do it. I haven't done it yet. I'm going to for sure get that shit done because I think I should stick some real money in there. Because I'm doing pretty good. Now, originally I said I'll wait until I get up to five grand, but I mean, I'm up $1,105 on the demo. I'm going to put a little bit up in there. So, let me shut down this computer. YouTube. My stats on YouTube. I'm doing good, man. Like, my numbers on here. Please like and subscribe. Let's get the algorithm going. But I'm doing pretty good. Let me see. A few days ago, I was at... Now, I'm only counting watch hours. With which they verify. It's all about the watch hours. I need 3,000 watch hours. Let me see. A few days ago, I was at 297. Then it jumped to 300. Next day, it jumped to 301. And then this morning, I was at 306. I am making progress. But keep in mind, I didn't really... Hey, Kobe. See you later, buddy. I'll be back. I'm going to the gym. Going to the strip club, Kobe Strip Club. Can I get some food, too? Which I don't know what I want to eat. I mean, that burrito I got yesterday is pretty damn good. I might get tempted to go by that spot again. I don't know. Maybe. So... Um, so yeah, with, with the update, cause on the verified, it's like over, it takes them a week to verify it with the, with the hours, but I didn't really start cranking out the shorts and it's the shorts that's like got my numbers like jumping. This is awesome. You know, so dude. I'll be sick, bro, to get paid off of YouTube. Sick. 
So, man, I was teaching a class today, one of my regular students. And uh, he over in China. So in China, they block YouTube and they block TikTok. Isn't that funny? Hola, buenos dias. I'm great. So, uh, I didn't tell him about it. I said... Dude, TikTok is a Chinese company. And y'all blocked from watching TikTok in China is a Chinese company? <laughs> he said, yeah, because of the content. I'm like, that's funny. He said, we got our own version of TikTok. He goes, YouTube is blocked too. I was like, so he told me the name of it. I wrote it down. I don't remember it for this video. But he told me also their version of YouTube. He said, dude, you ought to get on there. He goes, a lot of foreigners are blowing up on there. I said, well, could I even access it? He was like, yeah. I go, but if China is blocking TikTok because of the content, I go, TikTok has warned me a couple times because of I foul mouth. You know, maybe I can clean it up. He goes, well, you're doing the footage anyway. Oh, let me back up. So they got to use a special, uh, I don't know, a VPN or something to be able to access TikTok and YouTube. And he said, hey, man, I finally jumped into YouTube. I don't jump in there too often because we got to do sneaky shit to get to it. He goes, but I see your YouTube. I was like, oh, badass. He goes, man, you chilling with your dog and stuff. I was like, man, I appreciate that. He goes, I'm going to try to tune in as much as I can. He said, but uh, keep in mind, China, over one point something billion people. I was like, well, I just might do that, man. Why not? I do plan to visit the Asian countries. But yeah, making progress in the right direction, man. Love it. Absolutely love it. So, my little friend, we kind of had a little argument yesterday. I'll tell y'all about it. I said, look here, woman. All you trying to do is just play my ass. I'm like, I ain't having it. I got a ticket from Korea to Medellin, same price, coming to Costa Rica. Well, well, I don't want to, oh, well, I don't care. Do whatever. I said, I ain't going to sit up here and let you play me. I ain't having it. I go, six months in your country, I know how you women are. I know you very well, the Colombian girl. I love y'all, but you be lying a lot. And you one of them. So do what, do, do what you like. I don't care. So you ain't getting a nickel out of me. So she blocked me. Whatever. Bye, bitch. <laughs> but yeah, man, I need to turn it around with my stock trade because I don't like being in a hole. That's ugly. That's no bueno. Since I'm doing better in the Forex. But it's always different when you actually plan with real money. Always. The emotions is different. All of a sudden, you gear off from the plan. But I must say, being up a thousand, I am doing something right. So I might as well. I'm going to make sure I get on that today. But yeah, man. I'm stoked. I'm a happy camper right now. Cause I'll tell you, it's all about multiple incomes. Oh, so me and a student this morning, we are talking about Kurt Cass. He's one of my favorite YouTubers. So I happened to look it up, how much that dude is worth. What's the price of that dude? 
His net worth is at three million. I'm like, wow, bro. I'm like, that's awesome. So, I don't need to make that much. I ain't gonna say I'm turning down, but give me something. <clears throat> Hell, I'll be happy if uh, I can get an extra thousand dollars a month. I say that, but uh, of course I'm gonna want more. But just getting to that point. We'll see y'all on the journey with me. Now I'll let you know what my first check gonna be once I get monetized. But as long as these numbers keep jumping, I tell you, every time I look at the charts. I'll be like this. Alright. I'm going to knock out this walk to the gym. <clears throat> Today's leg day. I hate doing legs, to be honest with you. I need to kind of change my mentality on that. I do legs every week, but it is not my favorite body part. And I do not have a big upper body and chicken legs. It's just... I hate doing legs. I met cats though that love legs. I've seen some dudes, man, like they legs off the chain. I might, like, yeah, maybe uh, if I change my mentality, I'm like, my legs don't look bad, but they could be better. Like if I'm gonna skip any body part during the week on my workout, it's gonna be legs. I haven't skipped any workouts uh, since being out of the country, out of America, because I can't wait to get my ass to these gyms in these other countries, because y'all don't understand. Like, when I say it's like going to the strip club, it's like going to the strip club. So I don't miss any days. So the way I do my workouts, say if it's Monday, I do chest. Tuesday, I'll do back. Wednesday, I'll do shoulders. Thursday, I'll do legs. Friday, I'll do uh, chest. And then I'll rotate it. But I haven't been rotating enough where I'm doing, like I'll rotate it and do shoulders on a Monday, chest on a Monday, back on a Monday. And then I'll finish on a Friday, shoulders, chest or back, whatever I started with on Monday. I haven't done that with legs. You know, I need to start doing that with legs. And I haven't done squats. Squats is another one I need to start doing. I mean, I'll do a four or five exercise leg workout, but it's the squats I really should be doing. So I ain't got chicken legs, but my legs could be a little bit better. You know, I'm going to turn this off turn it back on after I'm done with my my workout and uh, get back to the house check the numbers check the numbers Woo. that was a great workout great ah, I'm feeling good I'm a little hung over earlier I drank tequila last night I feel good right now drink a lot of water Today's my payday. Payday is always nice. So I got to pay my rent tomorrow, right? Give y'all a little idea of uh, the little apartment I'm in. I got to get a lady $292 tomorrow, so 300 bucks. That's for two weeks. So 600 bucks a month. Which ain't bad at all, quite frankly. I think it's like $19 to change a day. When I was renting the rooms, what was I paying? $15, $16, $17 a day. I think it was like $15 a day, maybe $16 a day. So, housing costs here is not bad. But hey, now that my, my teaching thing is back to normal, and I'm ranking in classes, now I can start thinking of my escape. So I can go ahead and buy my plane ticket 
to Guadalajara in a couple weeks. I leave a couple weeks after that. So about a month from now. My rain is screwed up. I couldn't. Like I was still making enough money to pay for my Airbnbs and eat and have my drink at tequila. But for me to, to bounce to another country, it's like an extra 500 bucks. So when my rating's down, I couldn't even wrap my brain around coming up with that extra 500. And not everything is Gucci. Now I can plan my, my escape. And when I do get over to Mexico, I'm going to get my eyes back to dating. I don't want to date here. I'm going to tell you why. No one reason. It's expensive here. And I want to catch me a main one. And that main one's going to want to be in her country. And it's expensive here. I don't see myself, be honest with you. Being here for the long term, I don't see that at all. Versus Colombia. Colombia right now is my favorite country. I can see myself there for long term. But Costa Rica? Nah. I definitely will come back here. Because my homie got the resort here. And they like family, you know what I'm saying? I've known them since high school. But if I do come back here, I'm bringing sand to the beach. So the cost is my number one reason. Second, the dating sites. It reminds me of America. Lauren and I got in an argument. Colombian girl. I said, look here, Lauren. In America, we get into an argument I had to bow down a little bit because it'll take me like six months to replace you but in your country it'll take me six minutes to replace you it's not like that here in Costa Rica Costa Rica is the dating sites remind me of uh, America you know, I'll be on a dating site in Colombia. It's just chicks, chicks, chicks. Like, I could open up my app and it's just a whole row of women. I'm not getting that response here in Costa Rica. It's just like America. And you know how it is. You get in an argument with a woman, I won't be able to replace her ass like that. There's just something about it. Options. Now, speaking of options... Women here in Costa Rica, they pretty, but it ain't overwhelming pretty. That's like in America. You got pretty women, but it ain't overwhelming of pretty women. In Colombia, overwhelming with pretty women. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm looking forward to Mexico. 35% cheaper. In Costa Rica, where Colombia, 45% cheaper. Now, mind you, America is 145% higher than Costa Rica. So, it is cheaper than America. You know, uh, the other reason, obesity. I noticed. The obesity problem here is not as bad as America, but they do have one. I ain't into big women. Not for me. Costa Rica, I mean Colombia, it was hard to find a big woman. Here you can find them all day. That's smart fit. That's the third smart fit I've been to in Costa Rica. The first two, a couple pretty girls, but nothing impressive. This one is impressive. The one I just walked out of with pretty women. But in Colombia, I think I went to four smart fits. I was like shocked on all four of them. So when I say overwhelming, it's overwhelming over there. But I'm just getting started on my venture. Every three months is my goal now. 
to buy to another country. And I can pull it off, no problem, just off of my teacher income. Just off of that. I still got my insurance license coming. I got YouTube, I got other things coming. But now I done figured it out with, with what to do with the teacher platform, what not to do. Now that I'm ranking in classes, normal, I'm confident just off that income alone. I could bounce every three months over. So Mexico, I'm looking forward to it and looking for my main one. I need a main one. I'm juggling a lot of shit. I need a helpmate. So I'm gonna keep my dick in my pants till I get over there. I ain't even tripping off Costa Rica. And I'm mainly interested in dating women that could be potentially my long term. I do plan to date a lot of chicks until I find that right one. But on every one, I'm going to be thinking about the long term. And he's a senior. And I don't see that for the long term in Costa Rica for me. Hit and run. Hit and run. But I ain't interested in hit and run here. If I slide up with some pussy, whatever. I was like the doctor chick. She was a cutie, but she got an 11-year-old kid. I'm not interested in being the, the cleanup man. And actually, that chick wasn't even from Costa Rica. She was just here to finish up getting her degree to be a doctor. She was telling me about her country. I just can't remember the name of it. You know, but, but that's how I feel about Costa Rica. So I'm going to enjoy my time here for the next 30 days. And then vomit off. You know, I'm hungry. Maybe I catch something to eat on the way to the house. Maybe, maybe not. I'm gonna shut this off and uh, turn it back on when I get to the crib. Yeah. This place looks pretty good. Let's see. What cheddar bird? Yeah, let me go ahead and order that. Sorry. All right. Hola, señor. Hola. The machada burger. Machada. Hamburguesa machada. Yeah. Por favor. Algo más? Chicken, too. Solamente? Si. Sí. Ok. 3,500. Pay for this. All right, 3,500 colones. That is seven bucks. Seven dollars. That burger looks good too. We got all kinds of stuff here. Hey, that other spot I went to was good. I might have tried eight chicken too. Should have got myself a piece of chicken. Yeah, that's what I got right there, the Machada Burger. What else they got? Yeah. I noticed with Costa Rica, they like putting stuff on their fries. I like just having my fries. Oh, what's this? Super taco. We got Mexican food here. Oyes Day. One thousand. Will that be two dollars? We'll see. See what this burger gonna taste like. What are you brain on? Yeah. Eat that and take my ass for a nap. Alright, I'm gonna hit y'all back. Alright. Gonna check out this burger. Hell, it might be good. I don't know, we'll find out. Seven bucks ain't bad. But you know what, I noticed 
if it's an American restaurant, it tends to be more money. So maybe hitting these mom and pop spots. Hola. Hola, mi son. How are you? Fabuloso. Fabuloso. <laughs> oh. Notice, like, yeah, if it's uh, a hole in the wall spot, original spot. Cheaper, like that burrito I got yesterday. Ooh, it's five dollars and some change. See, Kobe up too. What's up, Kobe? What's up, man? What's up, bro? What's up? I can't wait to get you a bitch, Kobe. Hi, little guy. Hi, little guy. Hi, little guy. Hi. Turn my laptop. I tell you, I want. I can't wait to get a a three screen laptop. Let me turn on this light. Oh. Uh -oh. There we go. There we go. What's up, man? What's up, man? What's up? Alright. First things first. Let's see what we working with on this burger. Oh, yeah. Smells good. Oh, yeah. I love my burgers sloppy. And this looks like a sloppy burger. Mmm. Man, that looks pretty good. Mmm. Alright. Alright, some chili on there. This is bomb. Mmm. Mmm. Definitely worth seven bucks. Hell yeah. Alright. Let me turn this on. See what we working with. Man, since this is my payday. I'm definitely gonna work on my forex. I got to do that, man. I'm gonna have to take my nap. You know what? I tried to do it with forex.com because I had an account with them before, but they're supposed to send me an email to reset my password, and I never got that email. Perfect. It's three nineteen a.m. in Japan. I want to get going by four thirty. Alright, let me check my stock account. Dun 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 dun. Well, I'm down 9.2%. Let me see. Let me see what Nas was doing. I think that's where I was at earlier, too. Alright, that one's down 9%. TKNO. I'm up 2% there. ELDN. I'm down 4%. GRI. Mm, I'm down 14% there. What's this? C Y H. I'm down one point nine six percent. Is what it is. All right, let me check forex. Winner, winner, check and dinner. Oh, look at that. Got me a profit. $32. I'll take it. 
See, that's what I'm talking about. The Forex. Okay, right now I'm up 1137 dollars I'm doing something right. I'm going to get on that today. Because Forex seems to be the, the way. Anyway, I'm going to knock out this fabulous burger. Please like, please subscribe. Hey, if you're interested in teaching, hit me up. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Send you the link right away. Get you started. Donate to the Cash App. Donations are really welcome. The more money I can raise, the better. But until me, Yana, hasta luego.